4, 11, 18, dot, dot, dot. In the sequence above, the first term is 4, and each term after the first is 7 more than the previous term. What is the 12th term of the sequence? We just have to add 7 to get to the next term. And if you do that until you get to the 12th term, you get 81. However, that's a long way of doing it. If you're comfortable with these sorts of problems, there's a formula for it. I label the first term T1 for term number 1, and then T2, T3, going all the way out till T12. You can go directly from the first term to the 12th term by adding 7 a certain amount of times. We will only need to add 11 sevens. To figure out why that is, you can look at an easier example. If someone asked you to go to the third term and you knew the first term was 4, then you would only have to add two sevens. To get from the first term to the nth term, you have to add n minus 1 sevens. And that formula works to get you to the third term, you add two sevens. To get to the twelfth term, you add 11 sevens. And since the first term was 4, and we're adding 11 sevens, then we're adding 77 to 4, which gives you 81. You don't have to start from the first term. You could have started from the second term by adding only 10 sevens. So the formula, if you're starting from the second term, would be you take the second term and add n minus 2 sevens to get to the nth term. In fact, this formula would work if you put any number x instead of 2. And you would subtract n and x to figure out how many sevens you need to add. So for instance, to go from the second term to the fifth term, you would have to add 5 minus 2 sevens. In other words, 3 sevens. So here is the most general formula that works. And I replace 7 with d because you could be adding any sort of thing to each term. It doesn't have to be 7.